We also need to thank uh, the invaders that we sometimes forget. Uh, we've been invaded today by Trois Rivières. Last week, I believe we've, well, no, the week before that, because last week was Christmas, but the week before that, we were also invaded by Sherbrooke. Uh, I believe the Twins, uh, other one, and Exnot were, uh, were with us. I'm not sure if there were any other players from Sherbrooke, but, well, I guess they count for Victoriaville, but whatever. It's still nice to have uh, players from the province, but not necessarily in Quebec City support us in our, uh, in our weeklies. Yeah, people are just looking to put in as much time in the game as possible at this point. The best way to uh, gain experience is of course playing as many people as you can, many different people as you can. Uh, not only to gain uh, matchup wise, uh, matchup experience, but also people experience. Um, so every single person plays differently. It uh, does not matter which, which character they play. You might think that you have a uh, good experience against a certain character, for example, but two people could play it very differently, and that will, uh, of course, uh, catch you off guard if you're not prepared. So uh, if I have one advice for people looking to get into this game, play as many people as you can. Stronger than you, if possible. Yeah. And just to take an example, we were talking about uh, a player that two, well, a character that two players can play differently. Just Young Link, for example. Yeah. I'm used to Young Links have uh, this kind of mix up between range and melee. But uh, I, I also played against Pixu, who's more of a projectile heavy player. And it totally threw me off guard when I played against another Young Link because I was so used to Pixu's approach. Yeah. So it's really important for you to play not just one player of a specific character, but try to uh, have some variety if you're trying to master a matchup, for example. I saw someone, like on stream, his tag was 1234 and I was expecting a me for some reason. But here yeah. we are with the Lucina Greninja matchup. We're going to do Battlefield, uh, the first stage. Alright, let's go. Never seen these two guys play, it's the first time I actually lay eyes on such gameplay. Right, so button check first. You know, Smash, during Smash 4, I mean, Lucinium, while Quebec City was, we used to call it, as a joke, uh, Blade Dance or uh, Sortie City, because we had so many uh, Marcina players, yeah. and oddly enough, they all dropped Marth and Lucina, despite them still being absolutely viable. Except Mud Kiss, I think, right? He's, I think I, I saw him mention that he wasn't a fan of Lucina in singles, but he'd still play her in dubs. Um, I believe Max Ginamankips, as we call him, yeah. still, well, not still, but he currently plays Daisy. Daisy, alright. Yeah. yeah, he was a Peach main in Melee in Project M, I think. And he played uh, some Peach in Smash 4 as well. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Uh, amazing character, as we just saw uh, prior uh, to this set. But knowing him, he'll probably change characters. Mm -hmm. 10 to 12 times. Uh, he's, he's having a bit of a character crisis. I believe the first two weeks he was playing uh, Pikachu. Yeah. And he, I think he feels that they're not compatible. Like he doesn't blame the character. It's just that he, he's not able to make it work. So he's trying to, uh, to get something more, uh, or still rush down, but something different than Pikachu. So he's playing Daisy. Right, so I, I had thought that we chose a stage already, but we didn't choose a stage. Good thing I'm off tomorrow. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, having weekends on Fridays and Saturdays uh, is not ideal, to put it lightly. Uh, but yeah, I can be here for as long as I want tonight. Could you have so made it if the weekly was yesterday or? Mm -hmm. Would you have made it if the weekly was yesterday? Yeah, oh yeah, I would still have made it. Uh, might not have stayed as long as I will stay tonight, but mm -hmm. 
Um, I'm trying, I'm actually looking into um, having a parking pass uh, to simplify my, uh, my commute, mm -hmm. which I did not have prior, so tonight it cost me 12 bucks to park, which I'm not a fan of, and I have to stop at like at the, the pay booth every single time, so I uh, just, I'm gonna uh, find myself a parking pass just for Wednesdays, uh, come here every Wednesday, leave when I uh, want. Or feel like I uh, feel like I can leave satisfied. So. It's gonna be Omega Battlefield. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> well, it's it's clear at least. It's, so yeah, I guess it looks. We nice. can see everything there. Um, I I personally think that FD in this game is not as. Um, I I don't have a good word for it. I don't have a good word, but. I don't think it's as bad um, in this game as it was in the, uh, the previous game, so... Right, so, both players trying to feel each other right now. Ninja gets a down tilt, no follow though. Gets another down tilt, this time goes for four there. That's gonna connect, but um, no real threat to losing a stock just yet. Establishing uh, projectile pressure, but forward smash coming seemingly out of nowhere. Alright, so at the right side of the edge. Greninja in a serious disadvantage position, but um, nobody's going to capitalize on anything here. Both play is just uh, uh, being patient and not trying to over engage here. Gets another forward smash. Goes for the dash attack. The Nair afterwards will not connect. Goes for up tilt. Nair once again. Not connecting. Good jump out. Vegas playing slightly stationary. Ooh, okay. Ooh. So yeah, Vegas playing uh, somewhat stationary, trying to uh, space out uh, Kiwi, but Kiwi is playing more of an evasive type and is trying to capitalize from veg mistakes. So recovers on stage with the Shuriken. Already 34%, goes for a downer, 44% now. Another fully charged Shuriken. Uh, I believe uh, Fair would have been a better uh, option here, but they're not connecting and we're back in neutral. I might not have played enough against Greninja, but I feel like the shadow from side B is a bit more tricky in this game. It's a bit harder to uh, clearly spot the shadow. That might that might be just me. So far, full stock advantage for Kiwi. Tries to go for Fair, not connecting. Goes for another up tilt. Fair will not connect. Still trying to chase it off. Oh, that uh, that is going to connect. Yeah, this one is going to do it. So Veg actually trying to find a no clue here to actually try to land the first stock here. Kiwi is having no trouble just taking over the stage, uh, taking the stage control and forcing Veg to be have uh, unsafe options. Racking up damage just by Veg trying to get back on the yeah. That's gonna be it. An ill-advised uh, Shadow Sneak. That would be the end. that was called the end here. Went for short off instead of uh, a full hop there to get the fair, not connecting. Full charge you can send Lucina all the way to the other side of the stage. Very nice. Good coverage with the fourth tilt. You have the right read again. Uh, I think it's not the uh, not the first time that Veg was rolling off the edge and he was starting to get a read on it. Once again. Four smash, that's gonna be it. I just wonder how we struck to FD. If there's so many stages and a Lucina in play, I don't think that Lucina per se is bad on FD, but have a stage with platforms, man. It's such a great stage for uh, Greninja. Yeah. Especially with a character who, as Lucina, is really good at sharking under platforms and using platforms in general to convert her combos, extend them, uh, actually. And one of Kiwi's strength here was to bait options from uh, Lucina and just capitalize and uh, go in with dash attacks and fares and nares. Racked up plenty of damage just by Lucina uh, desperately trying to close a first stock. Yeah. Um, seems like uh, Veg could profit from a more patient play style here. And a better stage, and I feel yeah. Like, yeah. And platforms.
So I didn't quite catch the uh, stage choice, but we're gonna go with the same characters. I do hope that the counter victory was a stage with platforms this time. I believe Boosna would greatly benefit from uh, that advantage. Uh, Greninja can extend combos on platforms, but yeah, okay, so we're gonna go with the normal version of Battlefield this time. Um, this is not necessarily a huge downgrade for Greninja, but that is a huge upgrade um, for uh, Lucina here, so. It's going to be a big uh, quality of life improvement for Lucina in this matchup, for even sure. If uh, even if it's only for uh, for evading combos or uh, landing more easily. So. It's a slipper run, uh, slippery one even, uh, Greninja. It's really tough to get back on stage against them. It's kind of a better Sheik right now. Yeah. I think his, his killing options are better. Oh, that was an amazing edge guard. I, I think he's... No, he's not going like, to... Not even gonna make it back. That's such an improvement from last game by Vetch. Platform's already making a huge difference, I feel. He has a uh, foothold whenever he whenever uh Greninja is occupying the floor, so he's able to get away from the the water shurikens. And he can land uh, so much easier. Good confirm with the down tilt of the fair. We'll evade the shuriken. Gets up. Soft hit up smash. Let's see how he's gonna make it back. Goes for Shadow Sneak. Will be punished by a uh, uh, get up attack, but not much more ensues in that exchange. It's the complete opposite from last game this time. Uh, Veg with a clear advantage in that matchup now. Alright, goes for Shield Breaker. Will not connect. That up smash is still as good follow up there. That up smash is still as nasty as ever. It doesn't matter if you're you're hit or not by the sword, as long as you, you even touch her foot. Meanwhile, he had an amazing read once again on the get up roll uh, by Kiwi, who just finished the stock with a fourth smash, but he's still at a one stock deficit. Shurikens are not even remotely as threatening with platforms this time. Mm -hmm. If there's one thing I would like to see, uh, as I'm saying that, uh, is more dancing blade punishes by Veg. I think uh, it's not as good as it was in Smash 4, but it's a uh, still a like one of the best punish options when you want to catch a landing or um, just inflict a quick percentage. Um, it'll stop almost everything. So. And he's really quick on uh, to drop his shield, right? So the blade dance would uh, catch his options. So Ninja will make it back from this attempt. Good counter, I believe this is the first one he landed. It goes a little bit too deep, but not we gonna matter. Take He's gonna those. get yeah. Absolutely. So that was dead here, went a little bit too deep, but he was able to recover still. Uh well recover the stock, but uh he was able to stage spike uh Kiwi there, who was maybe a bit greedy himself as well. So you wouldn't expect that by the look of game one we would see a game two, but the change made, uh, the stage change made a huge difference in that matchup. Not even remotely close as uh, uh, as close as game one. So if you can ban stages with these platforms, okay. So that's a good balance between the two here, Pokemon Stadium two. Um, I think it's a fairly good neutral stage, uh, at least in that matchup's regards. Greninja will have an easier time than Battlefield. Uh, Lucina maybe a little bit less, uh, but still will have platforms and op opportunities to shark under uh, and to evade shurikens like just like this already. Makes a huge difference. So here we get aggressive. Uh, Plays now right off the bat. Tries to get a grab. Doesn't get anything after up throw. And there's a dancing play with it. And good punish with the forward smash, bit greedy with the... Oof. That could have been nasty for Ninja right there. For Shadow Sneak once again. I think he goes for one too many Shadow Sneak. Just a bit too many. And you can tell that Veg is catching up on that. Just charging the forward smash is hoping to... Oh, he catches the two frames! And just as I say it, yep. This is when you need to start mixing up your approaches and recovery. 
Shadow Sneak again. I think that anything else would have been a better option than Shadow Sneak that would have punished that landing. Um, even Shuriken would have been better. A fully charged Shuriken would have done, I think, a better job at punishing that landing. Uh, Shadow Sneak did not connect there. He had to go for a counter afterwards. Drag down uh, up air. That will not lead to a big punish. Gets a grab instead. Um, but Veg will catch the edge there. And a little break. Forward smash. Mm. I think that may, may have been a bad DI. I, I don't so think too. that should have killed. Especially from the other side of the stage, no sparks. So a closer game, exactly as we predicted with the stage, it would be a, a matchup that's a little bit more even this time. Shadow Sneak, yeah, this time happens to punish the uh, counter. This time will not make a difference. Oh, okay. It's screwing into so it's fine. <laughs> you can tell he panicked up beat there. Good up air. Nice tilts. Very good spacing, actually. A better uh, better reactions out of shield by Veg as well. In that game, in the second one, um, as compared to the first game. Grab one, two. Sending Greninja off stage. He's going to capitalize somehow. Not gonna make it back from this. So only one stock left for Kiwi to uh, uh, try and redeem himself and stay in that winner bracket. Oh, down there the forward smash. That was nasty. Here the combo. Yeah, the fourth throw tries to go for down air. Unfortunately, Greninja was nowhere near that. Uh, still continues pummeling into the Greninja, not letting him breathe. He's gonna finally have the jabs, but. He's almost a complete stock down. Once again, the Shadow Sneak will come to bite him. Veg will. Mm, and he's not going to make it back. That's going to be it. That's going to be all she wrote. So amazing, amazing comeback. Starting game two uh, from Veg here, who secures a spot in round two. Winning.